Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first two weeks in January. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful new year ahead. Um, what do we got for Scorpio? Well, well, we have a transformation, okay? This is a transformation. This is a change, a major life change. Life is about to change, okay? Um, endings lead to new beginnings, so we know what death is, right? Death is the end of something. Um, but endings do lead to uh, fresh new starts. So we have a major completion here. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Ooh, we have a firm decision too. I mean, this is a this decision is made. Um, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, or you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have somebody uh, that is being very authoritative. This person um, probably isn't happy about the decision that they need to make, but they're making it nonetheless. Um, they know what they have to do. There's been some sort of dishonesty here. There's been a lack of integrity. And now there's a need to uh, move forward whether you like it or not by the looks of things. So, um, this decision is being made. It's a firm decision. We could have somebody that is in protective services that is making this decision to end something. Could be you, though. Could be whoever this is. It's, a, it's all about protection. Okay, it is all about protection. Uh, maybe it's protecting oneself. Now, the Queen of Cups, this could be you. Uh, this is some, It could be a very emotional time. We do have a very loving, sensitive individual here who is a healer. This person is very romantic. This could also be somebody that is... Um, this person could be a nurse, could be a counselor, whoever this person is. They are very caring, gentle, and kind. Um, there is also probably an emotional... Or, uh, not emotional, um, well, it could be emotional support that is being offered. Or there's a, there's an, there's, this could be self-love, okay? Somebody could be acting out of self-love, turning their back on a situation, because you notice this person is turning their back on somebody. So, hmm. yeah, walking away. Eight of Cups is walking away, saying goodbye. So there is going to be a goodbye in these next two weeks. You could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it is definitely time to take action. And in this, we have somebody here that is very, very um, much... This person is very much... Uh, Driven, very driven, very ambitious, wanting something more passionate, wanting something that's going to grow. I think we have somebody here that has this idea, has this vision, and they, it's like they know what they need to do. Now, we also, I just happen, I don't say this much, this is two men. So we could have, and this is going a different route, okay? We could have some uh, two men that are coming together, okay? I'm just saying we have this is we could have two men that are joining forces, okay? Some two men may be ending it with a woman, okay? One of these men may be ending it with a woman, and you know I, I know that a lot of people don't want to hear that, but um, that just came to me, you know. Um, this woman may be turning the, her back on two men, all right. Um, These two men are working together if it's not one person. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Leo. This is a feeling, I mean, or not a feeling, but an energy of weakness, lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem. With the strength card, we have, we have, uh, 
Well, we do have a major goodbye, and it may make you feel, somebody may feel weak in the knees, they may feel um, <laughs> like they did something wrong, but they didn't do something wrong. I, I don't think that is the case. Um, we could have somebody here that is in an unhealthy situation with the strength card reversed, um, feeling inadequate. Somebody may have the, may be feeling like they're inadequate or there's a, there's a, when you get the strength reversed, there's a lack of respect. It's time to withdraw. It's time to reflect. It's time to master your emotions. We have somebody here that is, is, is vulnerable and they could be being taken advantage of or they have been taken advantage of but that's over we definitely have an ending okay um there is some sort of decision because these are both the energies of a decision so we have a decision that is being made to end something where there's there's no growth there's a lack of respect there's a lack of of uh Wow, there's a lack of happiness here. There's a lack of emotional support. There's a lack of... I mean, this is an emotionally disappointing situation. So, you know, I feel like it's going to be an emotional time. Somebody is probably acting out of self-love. And there's been a lack of self-worth and a lack of self-confidence and a lack of self-esteem. We have somebody here that has also been very controlling trying to control another person, maybe with emotional blackmail. It's time it's 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 time for reflection, okay, with the hermit. It's time definitely time to withdraw. I see withdrawal here. It's like withdrawing from something. If this is over, it's done. I'm not going to give it my energy anymore. Make sure this is focused in a little bit more. Oh, I was going to get one of these for an overall energy. Let's stop right here and do that. One card for Scorpio, please. came out reverse so we are going to keep it reverse that's patience there's lack of patience okay this is this reminds me of the temperance card okay it's like it's been overdue okay something is overdue it there's it's been an, a long time coming this decision has been a long time coming i think we have somebody here that is very frustrated they there's been a lot of ups and downs a lot of highs and lows somebody has been waiting for somebody to change and they're not changing things aren't changing Okay, so I feel like there's been some sort of delay in movement, but obviously with the first card, this delay is over. Okay, this is a major life change. Something is definitely coming to an end. Uh, I don't know if you've been, or, it, or it's already ended. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. We have a lot of people here, a lot of energies. This is, uh, I think this is a very difficult decision. I feel like it's the right thing, though. Somebody is making the right decision. It's almost like they got to demand respect. They need to demand, uh, you know, it is, it's self-respect. There's a lack of respect here. Somebody has, hasn't been respecting another person's um, values. But I also feel like... Uh, I do see it. I do see it's it that somebody is deciding that I'm going to withdraw and go my own way. Okay, with the Hermit card, this is a card of introspection, withdrawal, coming up with Plan B, moving forward. I'm going to do this by myself. I need a time out. I need to completely go within. If you don't, if if you haven't, this is what this means. It's like you need to realize your true identity. You need to take a time out to realize your true identity. And that is an act of self-respect and self-love. So I feel like these two next two weeks are going to be about doing the right thing for yourself. And if that means that you have to walk away, then that's what it means. 
So, I, I mean, I do see a major ending where somebody is walking away. And it's like it's an act of self-love and self-respect. Um, nine of Wands. This is... This is um, A very lonely energy on guard it's like soul ownership I gotta do this by myself I gotta I gotta I gotta get my strength back I gotta get myself back so I think this is about self-love these two these next two weeks I do I think that you are turning your back on something whether it's a whatever it is it could be two two people. It could be one person. Whatever it is, I feel like you guys are turning your back because you have to do something by yourself. You have to regain your strength. You have to regain your vitality. I think that you have made yourself vulnerable to another person's control. But I, I feel like, you know, it's it's really not time to get into anything because you need to regain yourself. So it's about self. This is rebirth. This is death and rebirth. And when you go through that rebirth, you have to do it alone. So I I really feel this is a week of of self-love, figuring out who you really are, realizing uh, who you want to be in this next year, you know, setting goals, coming up with a plan, you know, um taking action to really realize where you're going and who you are and regaining your self-respect. You know, I think we have somebody here that has stolen your energy. It's like an energy thief. And I think that you, you know, you're just making that, that difficult decision to walk away or somebody's walking away from you could go vice versa. There is somebody that is walking away. There is. It's definitely going to be an emotional time, okay? Because death or endings are never easy. So something is ending. Something is ending. And it's big with that death card being the first card. But it is the right decision, but it's not an easy one. It's definitely not an easy one. So I feel like this is uh, the next two weeks, first couple weeks in January. It's about reflection. I mean, that's what this is about. You're probably going to... Now, this is observation. This is a, a conflicting message that is delivered. This is a message you don't want to hear. Whatever... You are going to receive a message that you don't want to hear that is going to make you... It will probably bring you to your knees. It's funny because I said that way back. This this message may make you feel very weak, may make you feel at a loss. You know, it's probably will make you feel like... Uh, wow. I, I, I Wow. I can't believe what I just heard. And it may want make you want to withdraw from the world. Whatever it is. This is definitely withdrawal. Um, so be prepared to receive a message from somebody. Comes out of nowhere. This message does. And when this message is delivered, it will probably hurt. But it's the truth. It's going to help you with your decision as to whatever it is that you need to walk away from. This This message could come from a child. Okay, um, or somebody that is younger than you, they just they just speak, they just they just tell the truth, and it changes everything because this is a change and it is a big one. So th something is about to change, and it has to do. You know, it feels like we have somebody in authority that is that is whether it's you being your own boss, being you know taking charge of a situation, or it's somebody else. It's like somebody in authority is making this decision. Whether it's you or, like I just said, or somebody else. This is an authoritative decision. The decision is made and you can't change it. Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody was probably swept off their feet by Prince Charming in Shrek. We've talked about him before. This is not a real Prince Charming. This is somebody who plays, plays it really well. They can talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. They really don't have anything emotional to offer. So I feel like we have a, a relationship that, you know, didn't turn out the way that it was supposed to.
I see a lot of perseverance here, wanting to hold on, wanting to, you know, I, we can make this work, we can make this work, you know, or I can make this work, or I'm going to hold out until the better end. But I think that holding out is over, it's done, it's too late, it's over. No, we have we have some sort some sort of uh, manipulative controlling individual in this mix, who is very driven by society. They're they're corrupt. They don't want to take responsibility. This could be a criminal. They only care about themselves. Somebody that is power hungry. We could be you could somebody could be dealing with a narcissist. Could be a father figure. Could be a husband. Could be a boyfriend. Whoever it is, this person is super controlling. And they desert you in the time of need. We have somebody here that is on the wrong side of the law. They don't care who they hurt. It's all about them. It's all about, you know, themselves. But I feel as though, Scorpio, you know, this relationship that is not going in the right direction is... You know, there's going to be some sort of major change. And it's it looks as though somebody is walking away with the Eight of Cups under there from the false relationship. There's too much control. There's too much, too many power struggles. You can't win no matter what. You're always in the wrong. So anyway, I feel as though you're going to be making a choice or your choice is going to be made for you. We have an individual here that is not giving the love that they promised or that you thought you were going to get. And I think that you're going to receive some sort of message that you don't want to hear that puts you, you know, in a time of reflection and causes you to withdraw and, re and retreat. With the Eight of Cups, somebody is leaving an emotionally unfulfilling situation behind. That's what's going on here. And they're headed towards this, okay? Or they're they're headed towards, you know, a timeout. They're headed towards after the timeout is wish fulfillment. It's, it's, it, it's abundance, but you have to, this is the first stop. It is. Reflection. So this next two weeks is a time of reflection. Because something is ending. That is, death is a major completion, a major ending. And when you experience that, you need time to heal. You need time. This is healing and reflection and withdrawal. And that takes time alone. So I think the next two weeks is going to be a time of reflection. Good luck.